Pleased to be joined by Milton Ward 3 Town Councilor Adil Kalki. And Adil, we're in budget time. Uh, obviously, this is big for the city. Uh, we're still in a bit of processing here, but as it looks right now, how are you feeling about Milton 2024 in the budget? Yeah, absolutely. So we did pass our budget recently at the town on the 4th of December, and it's exciting because there are some, you know, new initiatives in there. Um, but, you know, we recognize that uh, this budget was about, you know, balancing expectation for services with the uh, affordability issue and uh, that people are facing right now, given that cost of doing everything has gone up. So it was a tricky balance, but this budget is investing into Milton at the same time. Yeah, it is a tough one, and we've seen a lot of budgets in the region go up, and this is a bit of a hefty ask, and I'm sure we'll be talking with Mayor Krantz about that when we have him back on. I want to talk specifically about what you managed to get done in the budget, though. You're three for three as far as motions that you put forward. All were successful. So briefly here, tell me about the three that you did do. We'll start with the stop sign beacon pilot. What does this involve? Yeah, that's one of the motions that I'm actually really excited about. It's a new pilot program that uh, council approved. Um, and basically what it's uh, around is, like you said, it's a stop sign beacon. So essentially the Ontario traffic manual has provisions for when we can install uh, flashing red beacon lights on stop signs or at stop sign related intersections as an added mechanism to improve visibility and improve uh, motor vehicle compliance with stop signs. Now, I did some data uh, searching for this particular item because I was concerned about the number of complaints I was getting from residents in relation to uh, one speeding and the next one being people running stop signs. And that usually results in a collision and puts pedestrians and other road users at risk. So when I looked into the data behind this, I compiled a list of all four of our wards here in Milton in terms of where we've had the most collisions at all way stop signs within a five year period. And I have the numbers in front of me here. So in Ward 1, we had six collisions. In Ward 2, we had 17 collisions, which is the highest. Ward 3 and 4 both had seven collisions at a particular stop sign in that part of the community that uh, was the most compared to the other ones. So that was alarming to me. And as a result of that, I uh, you know, took into consideration the fact that the only real way to change that behavior in terms of people not following the rules at a stop sign is police enforcement. But knowing that police can't be everywhere at once, there was another tool available by way of installing flashing red beacons. And I pushed for that, worked with my colleagues and staff to come up with a data-driven approach. And we're gonna be piloting these flashing beacons at our most high-risk stop signs that have collisions to see if it'll actually reduce the amount of collisions that happen and hopefully increase motor vehicle compliance at stop signs. Yeah, it's one of those things where, sure, some of them are rolling stops and people being a bit too aggressive, but I bet a lot of these collisions are, hey, I just didn't see that stop sign there because it didn't catch my eye and the beacon has that chance. So, uh, yeah, that's a nice one. All right, moving on to your second motion that was passed, Platoon Fire Chief. Uh, what is a Platoon Fire Chief and how did this get forward here? Absolutely. So I'm really proud of that investment as well. But firstly, I just want to talk about the fact that uh, Budget 2024, as it was before this motion came forward, is investing in fire services by way of, you know, investing in communication staff that's going to be critical towards the way we're moving forward, transforming um, towards next generation 911. Uh, the whole communications aspect of how 911 is delivered in terms of fire response and emergency service response is changing in the coming years. And it's really exciting to see that funding secured for that built into the budget as it was. However, um, we have a fire master plan at the town of Milton and the provisions within that plan set out the fact that we need to hire actual firefighters on the ground and platoon fire chiefs to get to a certain point so that way we're not short um, so many firefighters. Um, that being said, we've made great progress on fire and adding a platoon chief was something that was important for me given the high density development that we're getting and the rapid growth all of our communities are doing now. The important thing about a platoon fire chief is the fact that they provide incident command, which is a senior level commander type position. When an emergency such as a big fire happens or a house fire, any type of incident happens, command is really important because it establishes organization, it establishes an efficient emergency response, and it provides a structure based response to an emergency, in this case a fire. So we're, our fire master plan talks about getting to a point where we're at four platoon fire chiefs, Having this motion successfully passed at the budget meeting now results in us having three platoon fire chiefs, and we're going to continue working towards um, getting up to speed with our fire master plan to get to where we need to be with fire. And finally, uh, your last one was traffic staffing. Uh, 
I don't, I don't even know what this is. So tell me about traffic staffing. No problem. So this is also a really uh, an interesting position that we were able to secure into the budget. It's really important because it's a senior transportation technologist position. And that person, when hired, because of this funding that was approved for that role, will allow for us to have a senior level person overseeing things like our transportation master plan and overseeing the implementation of that plan. You know, we always talk about, you know, by 2051, we want to be that walkable, uh, active transportation based community where people, you know, choose walking and cycling as a means of primary transportation and transit as well. Um, this role will help us get there and it'll help us oversee the implementation of that important planning that we're doing in the transportation master plan. In addition to that, this role will also, you know, oversee the uh, high profile and complex applications we get from developers and, you know, help manage the importance of ensuring safety for both vehicle traffic and pedestrian traffic, which is really, really crucial towards how we continue to grow as a community, especially with all the high density development coming in. And thirdly, this position will also um, allow for us to have a strong voice at the Halton region table in terms of environmental assessments, which is something that matters as well as we, you know, continue to foster sustainability and move forward in uh, keeping climate change in mind uh, long term in everything that we do. Adil, appreciate your time today. Thanks so much. Best of luck with these initiatives and uh, continue doing great things because you're always so very active in the community. Thank you very much for having me, Jason.